Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the YouTube channel today. We are back with the latest LEGO news for 2024. Now, of course, before we begin the video, I just want to say that if you enjoy and want to keep up to date with all of the latest LEGO news from me, then make sure to subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. Links will be down in the description below. But with that being said, everyone, let's get right into it. We've got a lot of exciting stuff to go over in today's video. So let's begin. So first up, we have a brand new LEGO exclusive minifigure that has been revealed. And this is the LEGO Playday minifigure. I think it's quite nice. I love the one by one rounded printed uh, piece that you do get there for the minifigure as well as the torso. We've also got some new LEGO Speed Champions that have been revealed. With the first one being the Ferrari F40. I think it looks really good, honestly. I think that the uh, detailing on this one is amazing. And you do also get a really nice minifigure. And then we do also have the NASCAR set as well, being the Chevrolet. Uh, Camaro. I think that the color scheme of this one is really good. Love the mix of the uh, yellow with the orange flames as well. And then you do also have a mix of the purple and the teal. And then we do also have a brand new Lego Marvel set that has been officially revealed, being set 76287, the Iron Man with bike and the Hulk set. I've got to say, overall, this is a pretty bad set. I know it is a four plus model. However, Iron Man, he can fly. He doesn't need a bike. So. It's just the most unnecessary vehicle that there is, especially uh, comparing it with the Spider-Man vehicles as well. This is definitely worse than those. And then we did also get some new Star Wars that have been revealed with the first one being 675393, the TIE Fighter and X-Wing mashup set. This will include 1,063 pieces. Recommended for ages nine and over. And overall, I think this one looks pretty decent. The TIE Fighter definitely looks a lot better than the previous version. Um, I think in the previous version, the cockpit looked a little bit too big. However, it seems that they have sorted that out now. And it definitely looks a lot more in proportion uh, with this scale. And the X-Wing looks pretty decent as well. Um, I think that the nose is definitely a lot better than the previous X-Wing that we got. Um, I think it looks a lot more smoother. So I do really like that. And then you do also get five uh, characters in this set, four of those being minifigures. And then one is L3GO. And then we did actually get a closer look at that droid, thanks to Life Breaks. Um, I think this one looks really good. Honestly, it's a really nice nod to the Lego group with the red and the yellow color scheme. And especially with the fact that it is L3GO, which obviously stands for Lego. And then we did get the reveal of set 75389. And that is the Dark Millennium Falcon with 1,579 pieces. Recommended uh, for ages 10 and over. And i got to say, overall, this one looks really, really good. Uh, this will be retailing for around $180. And I think this is definitely going to be a must-buy for a lot of people. Me, personally, I cannot wait to get this set. I think it's just such a cool concept. And I think the minifigures as well are all really, really good. Um, especially with the uh, dark ray and the white veda i think that those two look really really nice and then you do also get the darth jar jar as well uh, so you are able to now get the uh, jar jar binks uh, molded headpiece for those of you who don't own that already like myself uh, but i think that the color scheme works really well for the millennium falcon i absolutely love the black and there is a lot of translucent red that's been used as well i love how the thrusters at the back are in the dark translucent red and even the cockpit as well and there are a bunch of other red pieces that have been used uh, throughout the set as well just to sort of contrast with the black i also really like the uh, dish as well how it sort of represents a little mini laser sort of similar to the death star and you do also get the translucent green um, pieces that can be used to represent the laser on that as well uh, so overall i think it is really really good here are some of the lifestyle pictures um, essentially the size of the set is exactly the same as the uh, rise of skywalker million falcon in fact i'm pretty sure that the entire build is exactly the same because the way the set opens and everything and the way it has been constructed especially with the top panels is exactly the same from that previous version from the rise of skywalker which has been around for quite a long time now so um i'm pretty sure that the actual build of the set is almost identical to that one but it is pretty much just a color swap of that version which i'm completely fine with if i'm being completely honest with you because the previous version of the millennium falcon it's definitely the best play scale version of the falcon that we've ever seen um, and especially with the way that the panels work on the top you don't see any of the uh, gaps which was a massive problem that lego had for such a long time so it was really great that lego were able to fix that and here's another lifestyle picture just sort of showing the melanie falcon opened up so you can see there are four different sections there that you can actually open up um, and it does reveal a little bit of the interior and then again thanks to live bricks we do have uh, a close look at three of the minifigures in the set being uh, bounty hunter c3po it looks really good. I love the uh, red eyes that they've given him there. Um, and then we've also got White Vader, who also looks really good. However, I do wish that the eyes did have 
um, a bit of color i think it would have been nice if those were bright blue so similar to how lego decided to make c-3po's eyes red instead of the usual gold color and then we do also have darth jar jar as well who has some really nice torso printing and then we did also get our first look at set 40705 and that is the micro ninjago city garden set recommended for ages 10 and over so this will be the next set to add into the micro ninjago city collection um in order to get this you have to use your insider points so it won't be a gift purchase um, which is the same case with the previous two versions that we've seen of the other micro ninjago city sets um and this will be able to combine with those as well uh so i'm really looking forward to seeing the way that does look and then thanks to Itabricks for these images, but uh, essentially we have our first potential look at uh, one of the brand new LEGO Fortnite sets that we'll be releasing for later this year, and that is the Battle Bus. Uh, there is a new mold on Fortnite where you're actually able to play um, the Fortnite Battle Royale, I believe, um, as an actual LEGO mold. Um, and it did actually reveal the Battle Bus there as well. And it does scale up pretty nicely with the minifigures um and i'm guessing this is probably going to be what the set will be like um and overall i think it looks pretty good the model looks quite nice uh, i love the balloon on the top there um and it also does use a flame piece as well of course because it is a hot air balloon attached to the bus uh, but there are some really nice building techniques that have been used on this one as well uh, but overall i think this does look really great and i cannot wait for that set to release that will definitely be a bestseller for sure and then we did get another official look at the vault memory lane set which is at four zero 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 four two recommended for ages 10 and over uh thanks to jay's brick blog uh overall i think this one looks really good honestly it is a lego exclusive set so i think in order to get this you have to visit the lego house so it is going to be a very difficult set to get your hands on if you are just an average lego uh collector like myself um i think it looks really good however i probably won't try and get this one because it will be nearly impossible to get it people will definitely be selling this one for a lot of money on the secondary market but here's the back of the box uh, sort of showing you uh, some of the images of the vault and it also tells you a bit of information about it as well one really cool thing i like about this set is this duck right here and this sort of is a throwback to what lego was originally because they used to make wooden toys so that's really cool and then you can actually see the vault has got a bunch of all stuff with um, a lot of the printed pieces to represent uh, lego sets that have been made in the past uh, so you can see some of the lego system sets as well which is really really cool i absolutely love that those printed pieces are definitely going to be worth a lot of money in the future uh, when this set does eventually get rolled out to everyone um, and then we did also get again thanks to life bricks our first look at a brand new lego star wars minifigure that will be appearing in the Jedi Bob Starfighter, and that is the Mon Cala clone. Now, initially, when we heard the rumors that we would be seeing Jedi Bob Starfighter this summer, um, it was rumored that it would be including too many figures, with one of those being Jedi Bob and the other one was unknown. A lot of people were speculating that it would either be a droid or perhaps an updated version of Jedi Bob without the yellow flesh tone however no it's a mon color clone um which is a very interesting concept i will say but don't forget this will be tying into star wars rebuild the galaxy which is going to be a lego series on disney plus i believe and then lego did also add some new skins to the lego fortnite game with one of those being captain jack sparrow from pirates of the caribbean which looks amazing love the skeleton version of him as well i'd love to see this as an actual physical minifigure here's four pirates of the caribbean returning as a theme um, and then lego did also add three more skins from pirates of the caribbean as well and all three of these uh, minifigures look absolutely incredible would love to see those in physical form at some point um so hopefully like i said before we do get pirates of the caribbean returning in a few years time but there we go everyone with that being said this is the end of the video if you did enjoy then why not subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on instagram and join my discord server links will be down in the description below let me know down in the comments below what you think about all of the latest lego news that we've covered in today's video i'll talk to you guys soon so peace out see you later and bye bye